Let's take a look at this exponential equation together. If you'd like to download a free copy of this PDF, you can find a link in the description box below, and you can also find the annotated answer key PDF as well if you find that useful. Let's jump right into it. For this equation, we have 3 raised to the x plus 4 power is equal to 6 to the 2x minus 5 power. Here's the original equation, but let's focus on what the bases are. We have a base of 3 on the left side and a base of 6 on the right side. If these bases were the same, or there was an easy way to rewrite them with the same base, this problem would be a lot easier to solve. What makes this problem more challenging is the fact that they have different bases. To go ahead and solve this equation, I'm going to recommend two strategies here that you can go ahead and try for this particular problem. First, we could go ahead and take log base 3 of both sides of the equation, since we have a base of 3 on the left side, or we could go ahead and take log base 6 of both sides. Either one is going to be okay. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take log base 3 of both sides, but feel free to go ahead and take log base 6 to see if this still works out. So on the left side here, we're going to have log base 3 of 3 to the x plus 4 power, and on the right side of the equation, we're going to have log base 3 as well but we're also going to have this uh, 6 to the 2x minus 5 power. Then using our power property, let's go ahead and take this x plus 4 in the exponent and then go ahead and rewrite it in the front here. So keep in mind that we can do that if we have an exponent dealing with a logarithm. So we're going to have this quantity of x plus 4. We're going to go ahead and multiply that by log base 3 of 3. On the right side of the equation, we could do something very similar. Let's go ahead and take this exponent of this 2x minus 5 and go ahead and rewrite it as a product in front of this logarithm. So we're going to take the quantity of this 2x minus 5. Let's go ahead and multiply that by log base 3 of 6. On the left side, this log base 3 of 3 is just equal to 1, so we don't really need to write that. So we can just simplify the left side of the equation to just say x plus 4. Now on the right side of the equation, let's go ahead and distribute this log base 3 of 6, and let's distribute that to this 2x as well as to this minus 5. You'll see why in a little bit. So, so multiplying those two together, we're going to get 2x multiplied by log base 3 of 6. Go ahead and write that first part, okay? And then we're going to subtract 5 times this log base 3 of 6. Notice that we have an x on the left side of the equation as well as on the right side of the equation, so let's try to get those together. First, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides of the equation so that we can get rid of that. By subtracting 4 from both sides, we can say here that we have x is equal to 2x times log base 3 of 6, and that's going to be minus 5 times this log base 3 of 6 again but then we're going to have a minus 4 at the end. And again, we want to get these x's on the same side of the equation, so let's get them both to the left side of the equation. We can go ahead and do that by subtracting uh, 2x times log base 3 of 6. We'll go ahead and do the same thing, minus 2x times log base 3 of 6. In doing that, we're going to get x minus this 2x times log base 3 of 6. Let's go ahead and write it just like this. And then we have that equal to this negative 5 times log base 3 of 6 minus 4 on the right side. Notice that we do have x in both of these terms here, so if we just want to have it in one location, we could factor it out as our GCF. So factoring x out from x, we're left with 1 minus and then we're going to have 2 times this log base 3 of 6. And on the right side, instead of writing negative 5 times log base 3 of 6 minus 4, I'm actually going to write the minus 4 first, so it's not confusing as maybe part of the logarithm. And so we'll go ahead and just turn it around here, and that equals the same thing. Good news for us, we only have x in one location now. All we have to do is get rid of this 1 minus 2 times log base 3 of 6, and we can do that by dividing both sides by that value. Dividing both sides of the equation by that 1 minus 2 times log base 3 of 6, we've now isolated x completely, and we can write an exact answer of x is equal to negative 4 minus 5 times log base 3 of 6, and that's going to be in the numerator, and that's going to be on top of this... Uh, so go ahead and see, we're going to have 1 minus 2 times log base 3 of 6. While this would be our exact solution, you could also throw this into a calculator and get an approximation for a decimal. And this would come out to about 
374. So if you're looking for an exact answer for this equation, this would be it right over here. And if you're looking for an approximation, this would be your answer here. So yeah, that just about wraps up this more challenging exponential equation. It's harder because you have some different bases. Again, you could have taken log base three or log base six of both sides, that would have been fine. If you prefer to use natural logarithms, you can go ahead and go that route as well, whatever floats your boat. Um, and then after that, it's a little bit tricky, but you just have to isolate X and you can do that by distributing uh, the logarithm on the right side of the equation and then just kind of factoring out an X as a GCF. So just a little bit of algebra uh, strategies you may have learned in the past, but they come back here to kind of help us out with these types of equations. So uh, you have an exact solution at the bottom here and you also have an approximation as a decimal. So whichever one is more useful, hopefully you found it helpful. As always, keep up the great work that you're already doing and I'll see you in the next one.